The first step to a show car shine is washing your car. Now, the reason you want to wash your car is to remove any loose dirt off the surface so you don't grind it in later on when you're machine polishing to try to remove swirls and scratches. And here's a little tip. Most people say to start at the top and work your way down. But what I want to show you is a better way, and that's to start with the wheels and tires first, knock out all four wheels and tires, and that way, as you're washing the rest of the car, you don't have to worry about the water drying on it if you're over here washing the wheels and tires second. So we're going to start with the wheels and tires, Bruno, and show people a couple tools and some tips and techniques to really get these things clean. The whole idea is to use the right product for the right area you're trying to clean or polish and use the right um, tool to go ahead and do the cleaning. So what we're going to use is the Concourse Series Tire and Wheel Cleaner on the wheels and tires. What you want to do is just spray them on let it soak in and do its work for about 20 or 30 seconds and then use the right tool to go ahead and agitate it to get off that road, uh, that road grime and that brake dust, really clean up these wheels without doing any damage to it in the process. Yeah. Now what I got here is two different brushes. This is a utility brush and this is perfect for scrubbing the tire. What this here is a boar's hair brush and this is important because a lot of cars have either clear coated wheels or polished aluminum wheels and you don't want to use a real aggressive brush because you could potentially put scratches into the wheel. So you want to use the right tool for the job. Tell you what, I'll let you do the tire and I'll do the wheel. All right. And this is going to get, again, all the road grime and the brake dust that builds up on the wheels and the tires. Okay, I'm going to come down here. This board's hair brush is really, really soft and the ends of the the, the bristles here are actually flagged, so they're feathered, so they really get into all those little nooks and crannies and agitate that dirt and it makes cleaning your wheel fast and easy. Okay, Bruno, give no. that a blast. All right, we'll rinse this off. That looks good. And we are off to a good start. Now we'll just repeat this on each one of the wheels, and now we can start working our way from the up back down again. Right. Do I hand me the wheel cleaner? No, All right. The back one. There you go. Now that the wheels and tires are done, we're going to start getting the car ready to be cleaned. And first thing we've got to do is go ahead and put a little water in here and get our cleaning solution ready to go. Now what I've put in here is the Wolfgang Auto Bath. This is non-detergent, okay, so it's not going to strip off any previously applied coats of wax or paint sealant. It also is going to lubricate the surface to help the dirt glide off the paint instead of grind in. And that's very important because when you're washing, the last thing you want to do is put scratches in the paint because right. clear coats are scratch sensitive. So everything that touches the paint has to be high quality, perfectly designed for the process you're doing here. So we've already got the soap in and the next thing we want to do is we want to start at the top. We've We've already done the wheels and then work our way down. Now we'll rinse the car off obviously. One thing you want to keep in mind this is a convertible and with a convertible you need to use the right tools to go ahead and clean the top and once we get the car all rinsed Mike's going to utilize a boar's hair brush that's specifically designed for these convertible tops to clean it get all the dust and debris off it without damaging it. That's right. Now convertible tops come from the factory with a waterproof coating so the last thing you want to do is use any kind of abrasive or coarse brush because you're going to scrub that coating off. So again, we got a boar's hair brush and these are perfectly designed to fit inside the five gallon bucket here. So I'm going to dip this in, gather up some of the Wolfgang Auto Bath Car Wash Solution and then just run this over the top. Now this is going to be real gentle to this fabric top, but what it's going to do is if you ever look at a fabric top, you'll notice it has a weave to it. And when this thing's parked outside, open to the environment, dust settles into that weave. And so the last thing you want to do is ever put like a protective coating on your top without first washing it, the dirt out of that weave. Right. You got to get the dirt out before you protect it or tr otherwise you'll trap in that dirt into the weave, which is obviously something you don't want to do. I also have this boar's hair brush on an extendable handle and that just enables me to reach the entire roof from one side of the car. I'm going to whip around their side though and just knock out that side All window right. and then we'll start rinsing. Okay, go for it, Bruno. All right. All 
All right, now that we've got the car all rinsed off, we're going to go ahead and get ready to wash the body panels. And what we're going to use is a two bucket system. Now, if you notice this dolly here, it's great. It's on some nice casters, allows it to roll around the car so you get easy access to everything so you're not chasing back and forth for your washing solution while you're doing it. It makes the job a little bit easier. Now, you can see there's slots here for all your different tools for your auto bath and your cleaning solution right on it. And the whole key is this two bucket system is to have one filled with your auto bath, your cleaning solution, one with fresh water to allow you to take your cleaning mitt or your sponge, get it all um, soaked up with your cleaning solution, and you, you want to rinse it off before you go to put it back on the vehicle because you know, the last thing you want to do is damage the vehicle while you're trying to clean it. That's right. We've also got what's called grit guard inserts. Now they're both, there's one of these on the bottom of each bucket. They fit down to the bottom. What this is is a plastic grill that's elevated off the bottom about two inches by these veins. And this is how this works. After you take, gather some soapy solution and wash a panel, you're going to take and rinse this off in the fresh water solution. You actually want to put your hand down inside the bucket and rub that mitt against the grill. That's going to loosen up the dirt off the mitt. It's going to fall down past the grill, get trapped on the bottom. And what these veins do is when you put your mitt in there and you're swirling around, it keeps the dirt from swirling back up and getting on your wash mitt. Very ingenious, very important. It helps keep you from putting swirls into the car as you're washing it. So let's go ahead, I'll let All you right, try this, this one. one out. These are very soft, premium quality wash mitts. And again, we're gonna start with our soapy water solution. You get the hood and I'll get All the right. door and work my way back. And a lot of times, here's a tip. I've watched people wash cars over the years and a lot of times they don't pay attention to what they're doing and they'll scrub a panel and scrub a panel and scrub a panel when theoretically all they need to do is actually push that wash mitt over the panel once or twice to loosen the dirt and then move on. You don't want to just sit there and just keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing the same place. Again, the whole idea is to avoid inducing swirls into the paint. That's a great point, Mike. Okay, so then after washing each body panel, go ahead and give the car a thorough rinse. And this is also real important. You want to rinse all the dirt that you've loosened up out of all the cracks and crevices so they don't get pulled out when you're machine buffing in the air current developed by your buffer. Come up here and get the back. You got the other side, right? Yep, okay. that side's good. So now we're going to dry it off using the Guzzler uh, microfiber drying towel. Now it's got a waffle weave in it, you'll see right here, which is highly effective at drying the car and not damaging it in the process. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. First of all, if you're doing the body panels or the paint, you want to make sure that you use a uh, light pressure on it so you're not doing any damage. And when you come to the tops here, actually use a more of a blotting. And what you'll see is it'll pretty much just soak up the water into the towel and pull it off of the top. And if you look right here, you can see where it's actually a color change because it's pulling that water out. So you don't want to damage it in the process of drying it. Now I've got a Guzzler Waffle Weave Microfiber Drying Towel too. This one has pockets on the ends. You can stick your hands in here and watch this. Put this right on the hood. Just draw it across like that. And in no time, you're going to have that car completely dry, safely. So once we get the car dry, we're going to pull it inside, and then begins the surface evaluation to find out if there's any flaws, what needs to be addressed, and the last part is going to be the fun part, getting that nice, brilliant shine. <laughs>